pie craft and mm-hmm. um, in the whole intrigue and espionage in uh, in higher cultures like in the like higher dimensions than the fourth dimension. Uh-huh. It's actually considered quite gauche because they understand that those kind of people are just crooks. Yeah, and they're just the psychopaths that they screen out. That's what they get them to do because the crooks would be shitty at it because the crooks actually would sweat balls when accused of the, you know, right. the truth. That's why they hire politicians, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. They have to have the front men because, yeah. you know, they're really ugly and they all look like Jews. And, well, to tell you the truth, they don't want to. Well, so there was your public service announcement from Cooking Good that spooks are really crooks. just gauche. They're cooks. They're not glamorous. They're not cool. You know, crime is not a good thing. They're murderers. They're stealers. They're liars. I mean, that's what you, your vampire curse is just calling all them crooks out to justice. Oh, yeah. I like how, like, certain garlic cloves have started to separate out of their shell as the curse goes on. It's worked. It it's worked. different people. It got made off, and now it's got this other fellow, Stan... Stanford. Stanford. And then all the people associated with them, a uh, bunch of politicians. And, um... Joe Biden. Joe Biden, and he's hooked up with the Stanford one. Uh, the... John Cornyn and his mm-hmm. wife took a vacation down to visit uh, Antigua. 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 Isn't it fun how they always do this stuff on some Caribbean island? I mean, the people in Britain do the same thing. They've got some islands that they keep wow. as, you know, it's like the Bahamas. Isn't that a British thing? Or wasn't it a British thing yes. for a while? Uh, my sources say it's actually a very fond place of the Israeli-Russian mafia. Oh, yeah? To launder money there. Oh, and... So, it, I mean, this is on a level where nationality doesn't matter. This is just people who know people. Mm-hmm. And it happens to be a place that used to be a British... Protectorate colony yes. slash whatever, whatever. Kind of owned, you know... Part of the empire. Right. So it had laws that were British. Well, yeah. then that's become decayed to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. And it's like, basically, it's like being on another planet as far as rules and laws and stuff. Or at least that's what the man wants to believe. He goes, I want to be able to get outside of this system I set up for all of you. Uh huh. Suckers. So I'm going to create my own little island paradise where I can do whatever I want and the rules don't apply. Right. And that's how I can evade taxes and launder my money and, uh, and murder my children. And, and, and yes, you know, and basically do whatever the fuck you want. Right. A giant vagina. Why? It's time for woman power. Oh. It's woman power. It's it's like. You know, that's that's what men want, you know. It's just a big, black, soft, like, warm vagina. Did you see that thing where they're talking about how men objectify just the body of women? Like, if they see a a random woman in a bikini, she is not thought of in the same brain regions as they would think of a person. It's more of an object. I can't believe that we've wasted money on that study. I know, but it's just funny that they would come out with that. And, and of course, I'm thinking, duh. There's a lot of science that they write about that's passed off as science. It's really just a bunch of people fucking around in a lab laundering drug money. Yeah, and I don't even know if any of... You know, the thing is, is that the, the media is owned by people... They're owned by spooks. Okay, so it's owned by the man. So mm-hmm. it's all just fake. So, you know, they just make up whatever the fuck they want to make up. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty much what I do. But they have a lot of money to do it. They have a better I mean, budget. That is my chief beef in life is that I am a... I am... We are on this show. Mm-hmm. A better uh, gauge of what people want mm-hmm. and what people desire and forecasting of financial events. 
Well, but we just, we, we're not necessarily like sages. We just happen to report what's actually going on. Right. So we're just, we're just spreading the world as we see it. I bet the world has always been run by like a handful of men who have no idea what they're doing. Well, maybe. And they just, they just were born into that position. Mm. And someone tells them to wear a certain outfit and get their hair done in a certain place. And they have no idea what they're doing. Of course they don't. All right, so I've added some garlic, carrots, uh, bell peppers, and onion to here. Um, these three different casseroles. And now I'm just going to put my turkeys pieces on top. And then cover that up. Well, I'm going to season the turkey with probably some salt, pepper, and some Cajun seasoning. You can do whatever you want. There's lots of different combinations. That's just what I'm going to do. And a little bit of oil, of course. You want to put that on there. And then I'm going to stick them in the oven at 400 for 30, 40 minutes. And then when I take them out um, and turn down the heat, I'm going to add some water to the bottom and start a broth going so I can baste a little bit toward the end. I love it. Mm-hmm. You know what I love about it? What? Is it's totally vegetarian. It's not vegetarian. It's got turkey in it. No, yeah, man, I ain't got love of fucking vegetables. I've learned my vegetable about being on this show. Well, what's in there? Onion. Carrot. Bell pepper. Mm-hmm. Red bell pepper. You know, red bell pepper has more vitamin C in it than an orange by mass. Does it now? I saw that on... Uh, Travel Channel. Well, that's something. It's vitamin C, and that's what you need to have, vitamin D, mm -hmm. sunlight, and vitamin C. And that'll help you, uh, you won't get a cold. Okay. Which oh, because is there I are no viruses. They're just, we've said this before, we say it all the time. There are no viruses, just some kind of bacteria that's very small. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a microbe bacteria. Very small bacteria, mm -hmm. and they can live in frozen areas. They can live in very hot. So it's something to do with how small they are. But it's got the pop-up thermometer in it, so it'll be easy to tell when it's done. Let's see. And look, they've even got, this is how great America is. They just tell you how to do everything on all the packaging. They just, they have instructions on how to carve it. All y'all in Britain out there, if you're watching this on the BBC by some miracle, this is how you carve a fucking turkey. You just get the package and you look inside and you see the instructions. It's like how to roll on a condom. Except that you have to know how to speak fucking English. Yeah. Well, I think they speak English over there. They speak. They probably have more English, more different languages over there than we do here. Yeah, but like it's spelt the same. Well, like, I don't they know. can read it. Because I've never been there. Because I've never been invited to go there. And, I've, uh, you know, from what I know, it's hard to get in the country. I mean, we did have that. I oh, we had friends who, who didn't get to go in the country. Right. They were in a, a band of, or something. Mm hmm And uh, they denied them a visa. Yeah, just because they were in a band. It's like being back in uh, 1930s Europe. Right, where you got to have her... They don't know who you are or who you're working for, then uh, sorry, you don't get to come in the country. They think you might be a speak. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, here's the thermometer stuck in the side here. That's going to pop out when it gets to be the right temperature. And this it's one I am going to give a rinse because it, it was stored in some kind of brine, and there's still a little bit of ice on the inside. It's a pretty big turkey breast. I have to say, it's going to take a while to cook. But it'll be yummy when we get it done. I know why they ran those articles. Did you want to talk about them articles in the paper? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We I had a brain flash just now. Okay, so. They need us to birth babies for their future army. Hand me a couple paper towels. And uh, so they calculated it out. And pretty much they need you to have some children 
that they can go 